Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, I want to make a cover for this. If you've seen the other video, we made this flip out okay, for St. Patrick's Day, but I couldn't fit it in the journal cover that I made because there's too much stuff and it just didn't fit. It originally looked like this, but it was rubbing on here, so I should have cut these more in when I made this. So I'm going to make another one with some other theme, but I'm going to put it like this. And I want to—I have a paper bag I cut out, and I just glued the two sides together, okay? And I just want it to like. Well, this is going on the outside. I'll show you. I just want it to wrap around softly, like this, somehow. So it looks like that, okay? But I also want to put like a notebook or something in it too, right? And on the other side, I did put brown paint down only because the paper bag had a marking. So I just kept going on each layer with some brown paint. Now I have a stencil. This is from Sean Petit. She has a YouTube channel, okay? And she also has a website where you can buy her stencils. I'm going to be using acrylic gesso. And I'm just going to tape this clock down. And this might not come out perfect because of the paper bag. Because it's wrinkled from me gluing it together. Okay. And it has lines on it, of course, because it's a paper bag. Okay. So just be aware of that. So I want it held down good. So I'm just going to do that. Right, and I have a piece of cardboard. And I'm just going to squirt some on here. Like this. And we can color it in later. And I have an old credit card. Okay, beautiful things. I prefer this because it's not as thick as this scraper from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to get enough to cover the whole bottom of the card. And I'm going to try to just do it once. And if I do it twice, it'll probably smear underneath, but it's okay. I just want like an image in the background of the clock. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want the symbol to show in the background. But I like this because I knew that and then do this. Just one swipe so it doesn't mess up or blur run together okay so of course I'm gonna need more just so I should do it I'm just gonna make sure it's evenly across the top I'm gonna try to hold it down get that in there And it's very important to hold your stencil down so it don't smear underneath. And I should have stopped right here, but I didn't. I kept going and I shouldn't have because it wasn't down to the paper bag good enough and it ended up smearing. And hopefully it doesn't smear. Okay. Now I'm going to go like this and lift it up. And it smeared. Because it wasn't held down on the right bottom and top right. So it did smear because again, it's a paper bag <laughs> and it's not flat. Okay, beautiful beings. So now we're going to go on to the next one. I have to clean my stencil. Okay, beautiful beings. I want to show you, you can get the excess off and put it on something else. I have a piece of cardstock here. I'm just going to do this and it will catch some of it. Just to use it up. So you're not wasting it. Okay. And it did smear, but at least you got another texture 
Okay, just don't go over it twice. Just go over it once. Okay, so there's that. Just to get it off in case you're not doing any more stencils. Okay, beautiful beings, I'm using another Sean Petit stencil. And I want to put this window down. And the tape's in the wrong spot. I think I want the bigger one. So I'm going to move the tape to the smaller one. Because originally I wanted to use the smaller smaller one, but it's big enough for the bigger one. But to clean these, it's so simple. As soon as you're done with your stencil, just take it over to the sink. Spray it with your sprayer. If you don't have a sprayer, just rub it off on both sides. And then if you have an old towel, I saved an old towel. I just lay the towel out. And then I lay the stencil in it and then I flip the other piece of the towel over it and then I just pat it and it dries very nicely. Okay beautiful beings, now we're going to gesso this one up. Gesso it up. I keep saying gesso. It's ge gesso. Okay beautiful beings. I'm going to get that out of there. And put it on the card. And then I'm going to hold this down. Good as I can get it, as far as I can get it, and this sit down here. I don't want it to smear. I'm gonna move over here, but I probably already smeared it because I lifted it up, but it's fine. And it is on a paper bag. You gotta remember that's not a flat, smooth surface, <laughs> also. So that's probably, that's be a good reason why it's not coming out good too. Perfect. But at least we have something for the backdrop. Okay. There's the window. Like I said, it's because it's on a paper bag. And I went over it. I shouldn't have. Because I think I did go over it. But it's fine with me. If you want it more perfect, just go over it once. And try not to move it because... I don't know if you noticed it lifted up and that's why it's smeared underneath. Okay. And I'm gonna do one more from Sean Petit. I'm gonna do an archway. And this one smeared a little bit. I'm gonna put it on here for you. But if you get any on the back, it smears. Okay, so you don't want anything on the back. So I'm gonna wipe that off and show you that this can be done. <laughs> And I'm trying not to get that might be dry already up there so I can lay that down I'm gonna show you let me move it down a little bit the bottom light it up and I'll just do one swipe oh, I don't have enough there one swipe there a little bit more there There you go. Okay, that one came out perfect. Hey, beautiful beings. <laughs> I just wanted to show you it can be done. It's on regular paper. I think it might be because I'm doing it on a paper bag and there's lines and, and wrinkles on the paper and bag. So it can be done, beautiful beings. Okay, here I'm just going to fast forward it because I'm going to keep adding to our stone wall. And I'm going to have to let it dry each time before I add more so I don't smear it with my stencil. I want to see if I can find a thin vine, maybe, to go in between some of the wall.
Okay, beautiful beings, I'm going to put some Versa Magic ink down before I put clear gesso down. Just another experiment. Malted Mauve is for the flowers and tea leaves is for the leaves. Kit Kat says hello. <laughs> Hey beautiful beings, I was just playing colors. I'm going to change it. What marker would show up what color, but I'm going to zoom in because I started this. Okay. I was using this marker, Crayola, and this Crayola marker. One's lighter than the other. And this is where it smeared a little bit. But I'm just going to take this. This is what it looked like before, except for the flower. I put pink on that. And these ones aren't so bright, these flowers, because I put purple down. I want to see which one. So I just wet a little bit, took the purple off. But you can see they're still darker than these two. Okay, but I did this color. Then I did this color. Then I did this color. And then I did that color. Then I did this color. So now we're going to go back to this color and that. Just take a stencil and put it back down. And I'm going to zoom you in. So you can see what I'm doing. Of course, you can use whatever you like. You don't have to use a marker. I'm going to move this over. You can use Distress Ink, whatever you like, beautiful things. But I'm using a marker because I think it shows up more. Because remember, I did use, I used uh, tea leaves. That's what that is. You can do it like that or you can color it in. I like the extra color in there. So this is before, except for the flower, before, after, okay? So let's line this up. And I'm just gonna take this color marker and just put a little color in there. And then if you don't like it, like that, you can just take a paper towel and wipe it off, okay? And then you'll have effect of two colors. But I'm going to lather that up good. And that's broke right here. I don't know what that's supposed to be about, but that piece moves on me. And I don't know where I got this stencil. So there's that. But I can give you a close-up of the other stencils I used for the lights and all that which I'll do after we do this and then take this marker and go in there there we go all right so it looks like that and you can wait for it to dry more or just take a paper towel now and go like that and see it comes off and then it that a little bit of the other color still shines through if you do it that way okay but you will want to do this either way you might want to let it dry more if you like that and I missed a spot right here So whichever way, so that other green will shine through a little bit more, okay? But that's how I got that effect. Now I'm going to show you I'm going to, let me do this. Let's do this sign first, okay? I want to do the sign. I'm zooming you in so it's closer to me. So you can see and I can see. Okay. I want this. I'm using this metallic marker. I'm trying to go faster, but it did. 
but I'm just gonna, I want this gold. So I am gonna let that absorb a little bit in there. And I should be using the stencil probably, huh? I don't know if it'll leak in between though. That's the problem. Because this isn't, it got pushed in. It's not pointy. It'd be better if it was pointy. So I'm being very careful. Then I'm just blotting. Where I think I can't get in very good. This is a circle here. And it has a loop there. So there's that. It's drying nicely. Alright, now I want to do this and I want to do that brown. So I'm just going to take this. And do the edges first so I know where they're at. Might not be even, but it's okay. Just do the best you can. And just color it in. I think I want a different brown. I don't know if I have a different brown to show up. This is probably the same color brown. Let me see. <laughs> I got this piece here. I'm just going to go like that and like that. And they're the same color, but I'd like a lighter brown. But I don't know if I got one. So let me look. I don't think I do. We could do... I don't know if they'd turn it though. I don't want it turned. I don't know. And it's gonna run together anyway. We can do this, this marker maybe, and then maybe blot it out. Yeah, that works. I'll just blot it out. So I'm gonna do that first, just so it's in the crevices of the sign. Do this one again. Try to get the whole thing. And then plot it out. The napkin. So it's lighter, maybe, a little bit. There. Make sure you can see. Hope you've seen that. And just take this one for and I missed a couple white spots. I might redo this just so it stands out more. Okay, there's the sign. See how where I wiped a crevice in the middle of the boards? It stands out more. Makes the board stand out more. Okay. Okay, this side, the flowers, I put this down first, then I went around them with purple, and I like that look, so I'm just going to do this one with purple. And here you can see where I stenciled down the ink, the tea leaves ink, and it did show some, but some's not showing, like here, so I'm going to use a marker and go over it. So I'm going to put this on top of this, like this, just like that. I'm going to do the purple first, I think. I think I used this zebra doodler. I'm not sure though, but I think that's what I used. I'm just gonna put the color in there. 
And if you got your color too dark, just take a paper towel and dab it. Like with the green, I'm dabbing the green with a paper towel. That way the green underneath it shows through too. So you got two different colors showing through. And then you'll have two different colored greens. And then I'm gonna do it on the purple. Okay. Cause it's still wet, as you can see. So it dries faster. There we go. That's what you got. Okay. So it stands out somewhat. Now I want to do this light. Okay, I have to do it this way so I can see. <laughs> and so I don't smear the ink on the other parts. Okay, so I'm taking this black. I'm just going to put it around the edges. I'm going to try. Just put a little black in there. Just for detail. Just on the light part. Then I'm going to take a gold metallic marker and just color it in. And I'm going to do an extra layer on the light. And probably only maybe one or two layers on the post. But I will be doing two, two or three layers on the light itself. Just so the light sticks out more than the post for the light. Just play with it, beautiful beings. <clears throat> you see how this is lighter than that? Because I put another coat on that after I did all that. But I got the white out of there. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's all right. You know what it is. You can make it out. So it's good. Okay. Now we're going to focus on the wall. I have this here. This is aged mahogany. And I wanted this color. I used... Where's that one? I used this color. Crayola Art Edge. I don't remember what it was. But it's showing up this color right here. It's not showing up maroon. So I don't want this one. But that's how I got this color. I believe. Yeah. That's how I got that color, beautiful beings. It looks a little darker now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't the color. I don't know. I was just playing with colors. <laughs> but I got brown. Because I do want brown in there. So all I was doing was this. Okay. That's all I was doing. I'm just doing this all the way through. And I even did orange. But we can cover that up because it'll look like a different color. Maybe it was red. No, I think it was orange. Where's my orange? I had this color too. Memento. It's one that has the pen end and then the marker end. Let's see. But I can color. Oh, I like that color. So I'm going to put a little of that color in there and go over this color that turned out pink. And turn tone that down a little bit. But that's all I'm doing. Beautiful things. Mix some colors in there. So basically, just grab the colors that you want your wall, and try out a little spot. And if they don't, you don't like the color, put a color on top of it, and just keep mixing until you get the results you want. And then, of course, around these edges, you're gonna have to go in there very delicately around the flowers to get your color worked in there and then like here to get rid of that white and if you want you can just keep going but I'm not I'm not going to color that hole in I'm just going to leave it brown Okay, beautiful beings, I have an extra dabber, so if you don't have an extra dabber, you might not want to do this, because what I'm doing here is I'm putting down the aged mahogany, but it's also 
blending in the other colors from the markers onto the dabber. So I don't recommend using your dabber if you don't have an extra one. I do, but look how well it is blending all the colors in together with that dabber. But there's our wall. <laughs> I hope you've seen everything. I'm going to have to check. But I did go over this part only. The light with the gold again and the sign. That holds the sign again. Okay. But I think that blended it very nicely. And you can see some white. If you don't like that, you can rub it out. There's that. I love it. I like it. But I'm going to leave it. Because it's got to dry. Okay, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings. I think I'm going to paint the brown on a paper bag. Gold. Okay. Pure gold. But I'm going to do it off camera. Because I have to get into these little crevices here. Okay. And I want it underneath just in case when I do these, I get some on it. Okay. But I think I'm going to paint this black. And I'm going to put gold on this. Okay, probably same, same marker. Metallic marker. And I'm going to put black on that. Black and silver. I don't know. Let's see if this even works. This is a glitter pen from Dollar Tree. In there. That might work. So I might use. Let's see. I can't see it. I have to hold it up so you can see it and I can see it. Yeah, I might use that. I'm not sure though. But I, I definitely want this black and silver. Okay, this, the walls. I'm thinking this color from our memento marker. So I'll probably put this in here for the wall. I'm just marking it so I remember. And then for the frame, I might like do an orange, maybe, a frame. And it's kind of bright. I just want you to get an idea what I'm doing. But let's see if I get a paper towel. That'll tone it down a little bit. It does a little bit, but I'm just trying to coordinate with some of the colors that are in here, because this is in here. Okay. It's not exact, but that's what I'm doing. And we have orange here. And we already got the green for the flowers. And we got a deep. And we have these colors and we have a light orange. So, so let's see. I have red. I don't know what red would look like. Like maybe some red Put some red on the roses and the flower parts here. Is that going to look different than up there? And it kind of does. And it kind of matches some of the colors in our four panel fold out. Our giant. So there'll be two different colors. So the red's going on here, and then of course the green. I gotta implement some greens for the leaves. And then this one, I wonder what this color would look like. Oh, I like that. So we're gonna put this color on this one. And I like how that shows through the brown, because it looks like it's cracked. So that's going to go on that. So now all I have to do is figure out colors for these. And I don't show you here, but I choose yellow and orange. I want to show you the stencils when you buy them from Sean Petit. That's Sean, okay, in her craft room. Okay, you get this. And you can pause the video. 
tells you how to care for your stencils. Okay. And then it tells about Shine Petite. She's a mixed media artist living in Northern Ohio. Okay. And you can go to www.shinepetite.com. Okay. Each of these will come in this packet with blue paper unless you change the packaging and they'll sit in there like that okay but I want to show you these stencils okay here's the whole thing so you get a big clock you get a little clock you get big writing of the ABC's and you get little numbers and big numbers okay so that's that and then here's the arches doorways whatever you want to call them in two different designs and you get a small and a big in two of the designs okay and the last one I think I got another one I do and there's these ones okay they're windows and you get I can't see it because of this stuff and you get a big and a small one with a wall coming out from it. Okay? And those are windows. Old Roman windows. Beautiful beings. Or old, just old windows from different time, times in history. And then, again, I'll have to move this so you can see through it. And then you get this one that doesn't have the detail. And then you get this one with the detail. Then you get a little one with the you know the metal holder and then they also here's a sign with more detail and a sign with less detail and then a small one of this okay so there you go so I'm going to paint gold on the paper bag but first I'm gonna color all these in with markers and I'll be back okay beautiful beings the gold is too dull okay it blends in too much, so I'm going to show you what I did to make it more yellow. So I'm going to turn this upside down. I got a napkin and I got a yellow marker. So all I'm doing is rubbing some of the gold off and wiping it on the napkin and putting more of the yellow down so it's, it sticks out more because it's, it's blending in way too much. So keep that in mind. I think I should have just put painted the paper bag gold in this section before I even put the stencil down. I think it would have looked better if I just would have painted something, you know, just plain paint in the background. But all I'm doing is rubbing the gold off and rubbing the yellow on. That's how we learn, beautiful beings. Now we know what not to do next time. And here you can see it's a lot more bright and less dull. And once you get the gold loosened with the yellow marker, you can just take a napkin and swipe it. Okay, beautiful beings, now it pops. It sticks out, you can see it, it's right there, nice and bright. If you rewind and look back, it was way too dull and it doesn't get lost in the wall, okay? Now we're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna show you this side and this is what this looks like before I just went around the marker and I did go in everything I went around everything with a brown marker I think it blends in well with the brown paint now I'm going to take the gold and go around where the paper bag is still showing and here I went around the numbers one two and three with the brown marker and I didn't like how it looks so I stopped so I'm going to have to try to fix that somehow. I like the white around the numbers. I think it looks a lot better. But I chose good colors on this side because they all really pop. Okay, and on this side, I want to put a notebook right in the middle. But I want it to fit perfectly. It's going to be a floating notepad. Okay, and then this will fold like this around our four panel fold out. And plus the floating note pad will fit with it. 
Hey, beautiful beings. It all fit nice and snug in here. Okay, beautiful beings. I have the notepad. But we're going to do something different. I punched holes. It's not as big as the ones you get in Dollar Tree. This is smaller. It's from Friscare. Okay. And I got this Just Cotton from Dollar Tree. I like the cotton because it doesn't fray. Well, it doesn't get fuzzy as much. And I'm just going to do this. So if they want to take it apart, after they write in them, and then they could tuck them in all these different pockets if they want, or they could just leave it, okay? And take pieces out that they wrote on and tuck them away into pockets, or just leave, okay? All right, this has to go this way. <laughs> I gotta have make sure this is tight so it don't go into that one. And that should do it. No hold it. It's not too straight. I tried to get it as straight as I could, but it didn't work out that way. I'm gonna take the needle out. And just tug it on this so I can get up there too long. There we go. Now I'm gonna tug it tight and clip this off. And then we're gonna just tie a bow. And again, take it apart if they want. Here, let me one under here so it works better I'm just gonna double knot the bow I don't even know if tucking that even made a difference but I did let's get this down here so some of it's hanging Just double knot the bow and then pull this back out and I'll tighten it off. It's, it's loose because again I want them to be able to take it apart if they want to. If they don't want to they can tighten it up. Let's pull on that bow. I want this bow. Okay, and that's what it's going to look like, and it's going to go right here, I know it will be behind here, but I have to do this, but this is what it's going to look like, and I got to, you can either put the clock there, or put that like that, okay, and it's going to make a beautiful cover, and then they can even add another notebook in if they want, because there will be room. But right now, I want to focus on this right here. Okay, I have words here. And I want to put them on a sign. Okay. So we're going to put them on the sign. That one needs moved up. That one's fine. And that one is good. But that's our little sign, okay? Now I gotta figure out what we're going to make to keep this closed. And I will be back. Okay, beautiful beings. I forgot about the clock. <laughs> so we're gonna add hands to the clock. So I'm gonna put some glue right in the middle okay just a little bit I'm gonna put the hands down I added some chalk in there I added some white chalk from Dollar Tree 
in there and then I have to go redo the, the, the black okay just so you know what's going on here <laughs> and I don't think it's gonna look as good but that's what we're doing I'm just gonna keep and glue and then we'll make it like quarter after one maybe like that then I'm gonna add some more glue And then I have diamond here, bling. It's not a real diamond, of course, but I'm gonna push them together. And then I'm going to put that right there. Hopefully that is correct. It did move. I don't even, I think it moved. It did. Probably should let these sit, but I'm gonna hold them down and put that on there. there and there we go okay okay beautiful beings I've been trying to figure out what to do with this I sewed this under here sewed the, the fabric but this won't stretch so it's not gonna work but I have this elastic band and I'm gonna sew these two together right here okay then I'm going to figure out what fabric I can sew on this that's going to stretch with it. Or maybe I can even like leave loose bunches. I can sew a piece and then leave like a piece loose and then sew it. You know what I mean? Bunch it up. I don't know. So I'm going to figure that out. Okay, beautiful beings. I just took the elastic and sewed it together. Okay, I did a cross back and forth stitch, cross stitch. Okay. I'm gonna see if it fits. <laughs> I know. It'd be easier just to take something and tie a couple a piece of lace and ribbon together and then do it, but let's see. It slips out a little, but I want it kind of loose, so if they want to put something else in here, they can. They'd be able to fit something else in there. There's plenty of room. But I wanted it kind of tight. I don't know. And it's not real bad. See? I'm trying to see. You gotta really shake it for it to start coming out. See it's starting to go down, see? Okay. So it's kind of perfect like that, as long as that's in the middle. You know, and you're not wobbling it around. Okay? But now I want I don't know. I wonder if the gold would color this. Let's color this. But then it'd have to wait for it to dry. And this video has been going on for a whole week. Because <laughs> I've had birthdays, family gatherings, I've had all kinds of stuff going on. So that's why this video is so late. But let me go find some color. We'll color this. Let it dry, which is probably going to take a while. I'll put it down on the floor in front of the heater. But let me go find something to color this in some lace and some other fabric that might work with this. Okay, beautiful beings. I got Distress Paint. Vintage photo used for paper, fabric, wood, metal, glass, plastic, and more. Okay, shake it well. It's by Tim Holtz. Acid free. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to flip it open. Tell I haven't used it in a while. I'm going to put that in there. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water, but I do want marks, so I'm going to do this first. And I got this paintbrush. I'm just going to mix that in so I get dark marks somewhere and light marks somewhere else. So I'm just going to turn it the elastic here and there. Also, then it tips. And I'm going to take it over and put some water in it. Okay, sorry. I got some water in here. Just a little bit. I don't cut that much. I'm gonna take this and before I shake it, I gotta make sure the lid's on tight. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shake it and shake it and shake it until I know where I want it. Then I'm gonna get a piece of cardboard. Okay, with things. I got a piece of white. I just got a butter thing. So you can see it on the white. Good. I'm gonna open this up. See, so I've got on the table. 
It's all right. Just wipe it up as you make the mess, of course, so it don't mark. Wipes right up. Then I'm gonna stick. Kitty cat. Kitty cat got new pom poms. She's playing with them. And then I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna put it in front of the heater. And then I'm gonna save this. Maybe I'll figure something out the color. I don't know if this is good for something or not. I don't I don't know. It's kind of a brown must brown mustard color, kinda, but not. If that makes any sense. Anyway, it's vintage vintage photo again. But I'm gonna put this down by the heater and hopefully and I'm gonna keep moving it off the wet parts and hopefully it dries fast. And when that's dry, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings, I got some Dollar Tree lace hair. And the best way I think to do it is to sew. So, I should have done this before I sewed this together. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But I think I can get it to the sewing machine where I can sew a stitch like right like that. That way, and a little loose, so when it stretches, it doesn't affect this, okay? So I'm just gonna leave like that much. And I'm gonna do a bunch of them. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe six of them. We'll see where we're at. And I decided I was gonna do six with the green lace also. Okay, hey, beautiful beings, now I'm going to sew them around and I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings, I sewed it around. Look, no effect when it stretches. Okay, it moves with it. Right? Now, these are all dollar by the spool, except for this one. Okay, from Joann's. And this one is, I think, Hobby Lobby? Yep, Hobby Lobby. Okay. But, I don't know if that will clash too much. I was just thinking of this because all the colors. So, and this, all right, we don't want that one. Maybe this one. So I'm gonna do this and then maybe some of that and see if it fills it up, okay? If it don't fill it up, then I'll add one of them. Okay, move for beings. <laughs> but this is where we're at and it's working so far. I think it's pretty. All right, well, I was going to put it on, but we'll do it at the end, okay? So I'll be back. Okay, news flash. I thought this was one thick thing, and it's not, so that's even better news. So I'll have room to put this like that all the way around. So I'll just measure it again. This piece has got plastic on it, so I'm just going to cut it off like that. And then I'll do the measurements again with the ones I'm going to use, like that. And hopefully it don't fall apart too much. Well, if that hangs down, it hangs down. That looks pretty cool. What do you think? So maybe I should cut it more down. But I kind of think I should just hand sew it, but then I'd have to keep... That looks pretty cool, beautiful bangs, don't you think? But if I hand sewed it, I'd have to keep cutting the thread and tying a knot. That's not going to take much of a stitch. And I like that. That's cool. I like how that hangs down. So that worked out great. I'm glad I grabbed that. Again, in case you're interested, Hobby Lobby Merchants 41 Decorative Trim. Okay. I don't think it has its unique. Yep. Item number 89. 2539 in case you're interested okay but I like that so I might have to make it longer and then cut it sew it and then fringe it so it don't keep fringing okay I'll be back okay beautiful beings I'm going to show you the wrap around after I show you a close-up of everything else okay I had a lot of fun making this four panel fold out. And if you didn't see the other 
videos of Let's Make a St. Patrick's Day Journal. This is part of that. <laughs> I made it. It's got four parts to it. And I originally made it for that. But that, it just didn't fit. I made too many things for it. So I figured I'd just make a journal cover out of a paper bag for it. Sorry, beautiful beings. I forgot to open this up and show you the little tuck hat I put inside of it. But you can find it in Let's Make a St. Patrick's Journal 3 of 4. And I'll put it in down in the description with all the other videos. It's been a long week, beautiful beings. And here's our notepad that we made. You already seen that. I just used yarn. Put it together, poke two holes, punch two holes and put it together. And you can put this in it or behind it to fit here. And you can have this one going that way or this way. And I'm gonna give you a close-up of this. St. Pat Patrick's Day, top of the morning, lucky charm, and pot of gold. Okay, for our sign. Then a close-up. I went in there with the gold really carefully <laughs> in between the leaves and the flowers and I think it turned out over overall well even though we had a hard time with the stencil whoop not stenciling down and me overdoing it with a gesso <laughs> all the different textures of the wall and we come over to the light our light post and then those flowers this vine of flowers is shorter than the wall. And of course, some of the walls falling apart because over time walls fall apart. <laughs> There's that. Now I'm going to show you this. I'll start over here. I went in there with the marker, the brown marker, and then I went around it with gold very carefully. There's our archway. Then we're going around the sides and the edges and, with and the gold metallic paint. And here's our other vine with flowers on it. And it went around that with brown marker in between and then gold at the bottom around the edge. And then our window with some of the wall on it and then our lamp post okay. and I went in between both of those with brown marker of course and I did silver on that and I did a silver glitter pin on that let's see if I can catch that for you can't really see it on camera you kind of can, but you kind of can't. Then I put gold there. And here's our clock. And I did glue this down and that down on the tip only with our gem or diamond. This clock. And I went with the clock. I think I did gold and I did orange. Either that or I did gold and yellow. But the, the yellow's old, so it kind of turned out orange and then I did some brown no I didn't I think I put brown marker here yeah I put brown marker on this the part where the stencil screwed up and smeared okay and then the rest I just put edged in more gold and then our corner okay beautiful beings so now I can put it together just put it in there and I want this on the top, I think, because of the clock. Just because of the hands of the clock. I want to make sure it's straight. And I want to make sure the book and the notebook are in the middle. Okay. And here's our beautiful band. Look how pretty that turned out. And I'll stream down. And I did some on the top and I did some on the bottom. 
I made them go every which way, basically. I'll give you a close up. But I followed the pattern, and then I did brown in off-white flowers, then I did off-white and then the yellow, okay? But this is what it looks like. I just stitched them right there. So when we pull this, it goes out. There it is close up and I think it's beautiful, okay? So we're gonna close this up. And we're gonna put it on, beautiful beings. And it's gonna go on just like that. And I love it, and I think it's gorgeous. But anyway, you can move them now. You can move them. Let's see. One got sewed together on accident. That was the only one I, I had to sew that one to it. Because it was too short, that was the first one I made. Yeah. But you can move these and adjust it any way you want. Once it's all down there. And I love it. I think it's gorgeous. And... These would look cute as a choker or even a hair, hair tie or even a bracelet if you made them smaller. But there it is, beautiful beings. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> it was lots of fun and long making this. <laughs> but it was worth it and I hope you enjoyed all the videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.